Welcome to Sifu Techs on the YouTube channel. So today we're just going to do a little tech tip on someone on Facebook's having a problem with a and they have a question. So we're going to open up Facebook here and basically about an hour ago someone posted that they need help. Their Apple CarPlay is not working. The audio is not work. Uh, audio is working, but not showing the Apple CarPlay on the screen. What else can they do? Is there a way to reset the CarPlay? So basically the solutions that were provided. Uh, is here one person says go to the settings and the control and device and kind of CarPlay. Well, CarPlay is not automatically in the settings. So you would have to actually, there's a, like additional steps just to get into the CarPlay. Second, uh, cable by Anchor. Awesome. Those are always been good cables to me, so you can do that as well. Uh, did you turn on Siri on and off? That doesn't solve the solution of why Apple CarPlay is not working. Uh, but it is uh, one feature that does need to be on as well. So to do this, uh, there is a way, and let me go ahead and get you started on what that is. What I'm trying to say is, um, Steve, is that you'll just have to go to your settings, and from there you select on Bluetooth. From there, look for your car that's listed under My Devices. Like for mine, I have two of them. I have a RAV4, and then I have this W113. So on the RAV4, you'll just hit the little I in the far right corner. Once you select on that, it shows you what your device product is all connected to. But if you look at the very top center to the right, it says CarPlay and it's physically turned off. What you'll need to do is turn that on. Once you turn that on and get back into your vehicle, uh, it will automatically do Apple CarPlay right away. So hopefully this tip kind of helps out. Uh, it's a hit or miss. Apple does disable that option under CarPlay uh, when it's on or off. So it's just something that tends to happen so you just go into there hit the i hit carplay uh if you're in your car and the car is already running turn off the car and turn it back on it should work sometimes it works off the fly as well so if you have any more questions feel free to put them down below I'll be glad to create another video